We're now going to rotate our project. Uh, we can see that this boundary isn't quite level, it's not quite at zero. So we're going to rotate this, but we don't just want to rotate our site, we really want to rotate everything. So we want to rotate the references as well, all of the other stories. I'll put this at 1 to 100 now just so it's still clean. So how do we do that? How do we rotate this and make this look good? What we need to do first is turn off anything that we don't want to rotate. So generally, if we have section or elevation markers, they're things that we don't want to rotate. So we'll just go layer, hide layer, and they'll now hide from our model. So what am I getting at? Anything that's hidden won't be rotated. Anything that's locked may or may not be rotated. We have to be a little bit careful with that. So we're going to temporarily suspend our grouping. The next thing we're going to do is to show the biggest elements on our screen so we can see that it's taking up this much space. So I'm going to grab my marquee and I'm going to draw a big marquee that's bigger than everything on all of my stories and then I'm going to go into the settings of my marquee and choose the thick marquee. So I'm making the line thicker. What does that do? It means that what I'm about to do, which is rotating, will affect every story. If I made a change, if I rotated or stretched or resized with only single floor or thin marquee, it would only do one level, one story. I want to change all of them, so I'm going to do all of them. I'm also going to make sure that in terms of my layers, option element attributes layers, None of my layers are locked. So I'll just unlock everything. Again, of course, unless that I wanted to um, stop things from being rotated. So now that I've done that, let's look at how to rotate. Once I've got this marquee, I'm going to go edit, move, rotate. And we see that that box turns solid, which means it's now ready to do an operation. I'm going to use this reference. So I can turn off my trace reference now if I want, just to make sure I'm clicking on the right thing. Click this point, click the original, so this is the center rotate point, this is our first reference point, and then for our second reference point, we're going to go down to zero. Now it says it's minus 0 0.74, but that's because that's from the original location. Now that's done. When I turn that reference back on, what we'll see is that our outside box looks a bit funny now because our survey file is now on a strange angle. But that's important because our survey was set up with north directly up the page. And while we want north to be up the page, we don't want it to be up the page at the expense of our building not being straight. And in order to make this site most efficient, and again, your site might be different to the one that I've used, um, but I'm using this as an example. We want one side to be straight. We can see that all of them are different angles, but we want this one to be straight. And so this is the one that we've used as our origin. And then everything else in the building will be referenced around that angle. 